A 54-year-old male with a large frontal tumor presents to the OR with nausea, headache, and bradycardia. He is emergently taken to the operating room for a craniotomy and tumor resection. How would you lower the ICP prior to craniotomy? I would administer furosemide, mannitol, and dexamethasone at the beginning of the case. I would also hyperventilate the patient to a PaCO2 of 30 for a temporary decrease in ICP. After craniotomy, the surgeon complains that the brain is bulging, making it difficult for him to proceed. What would you do? First, I would rule out hypoxia and hypercapnia. Then I would deepen the anesthetic and administer a muscle relaxant. The dura is still tight. What would you do next? I would consider deliberate hypotension using an agent that would also lower cerebral oxygen consumption, such as propofol. The surgeon is still struggling. Is there anything else that can be done? I would ensure the patient is in the most upright position acceptable and that the neck veins are patent. I would also suggest that the surgeon make a larger craniotomy. The surgeon places a ventriculostomy tube under direct visualization and the patient becomes hypotensive. What would you do? I would ask the surgeon to withhold drainage. Rapid drainage from a ventriculostomy tube may cause herniation, resulting in hypotension. What are other signs of cerebral herniation? Abrupt changes in vital signs such as tachycardia, bradycardia, and hypertension would signal a herniation. I would also check the pupils if able. Considering what you have already done to lower ICP, is there anything else you can do to treat impending brain herniation? Hypertonic saline can be administered. The surgeon should open the dura and we will immediately place the patient in the Trendelenburg position. Why would you place the patient in Trendelenburg now? If the dura is open, then herniation is due to the supratentorial brain compressing the subtentorial part. Trendelenburg would relieve the gravitational effect of this compression and prevent herniation downward. The patient is taken to the ICU postoperatively. Six hours later, with all sedation off for five hours, he remains slow to arouse. What is your differential? Pharmacologic reasons, such as the last dose of narcotics, muscle relaxants, sedatives, and residual anesthetics are less likely at this time. Metabolic reasons, such as hypoglycemia and hypo or hypernatremia, are possible. Neurologic reasons, such as cerebral edema, tension pneumocephalus, herniation, cerebral ischemia, seizure, and obstructive hydrocephalus are all possibilities. Why is tension pneumocephalus increased when nitrous oxide is used? Nitrous oxide is 35 times more soluble than nitrogen. Therefore, it will replace air in any cavities and cause an increase in their size. 